morning, my name is uh, Hayden Cutting, this is my Master Fisher Mummies assessment videos. Today's date is the um, 7th of June 2023. Right, so I'm just going to do a little walk through of all my different equipment that I use on a daily basis. So we'll start with the oyster knife, so I've got three different types and they're all just essentially for different size oysters and they're all serve the purpose for different shaped oysters as well. So that's those three oyster knives. I've got a pair of pin bone and twi um, pliers, a pair of pin bone and tweezers. I've got a large spoon and a teaspoon. Those are used for removing the bloodline on your small and larger fish. As well, I've got a nice uh, butter knife. Now it's got a little bend to it. Now that's good for opening scallops and hard shell clams, and also removing the bloodline on your larger, larger fish as well. Uh, it's got a, a little bit of an abrasive to the edge. And then we've got your fish scaler, just to remove the scales of the fish. And we've got a selection of different knives. So the black one is my flexi fillet and knife, which I mainly use for skinning. I've got two boning knives. The smaller one I prefer to use for gutting the fish. The larger ones are mainly for filleting. Chef's knife, which I use for chopping all the vegetables for making the meals, and it's really good for preparing the squid as well. And then you've got your larger uh, 12 inch Victorinox staking knife, which is good for skinning salmon fillets and uh, cutting fish, bone in steaks and chops and things like that. We've got two different abrasive steels, so you've got a rough edge and a fine edge. These are good for keeping your knife sharp. If your knife blunt, it won't do anything. These just bend your bit. Let bend your blade back straight. Good pair of uh, fish card scissors for uh, removing fish spines and fins and stuff like that. Two pairs of uh, Kevlar gloves, which are great for the oysters and working with fish with lots of spikes on. And then a little oyster holder as well. Just helps keep holding them and stop you scratching your fingers. And then squeegee for uh, just keeping the board nice and clean and dry. 